Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the So women's now the victory ceremony is seven. For the women's hundred meters freestyle S7. There's the champion. The medals will be presented by the IPC swimming chair, Ms. Jane D. Blaine. She is accompanied by the London Fire Commissioner, Mr. Ron Dobson. The winner of the bronze medal representing Great Britain, Susanna Rogers. Susanna Rogers, bronze for Great Britain, bronze for herself. From lane five, storming home in 1 minute 12.61, the 29-year-old from Great Britain. Born on the 9th of August, 1983, in Stockton on Tees in Great Britain. Three more individual events to come for Susanna Rogers of Great Britain. The winner of the silver medal, representing the United States of America, Courtney Jordan. Courtney Jordan coming forward to take silver for the USA. Courtney Jordan, 21 years of age, stopping the clock in 1 minute 11.63. From lane number three, the winner of the an gold excellent medal silver medal with a gold medalist, the Paralympic champion Australia, with a new Paralympic record, Jacqueline the world record holder, Freeney. Jacqueline Frenny from Australia, 20 years of age, comes forward to take that wonderful gold medal. Jacqueline Frenny from Australia there, the gold medalist, Paralympic Ladies champion and 2012, the and now the national anthem, anthem of, of Australia. Australia. Jacqueline Frenny, the gold medalist from Australia. And I'm joined here now in the commentary box with Mr. Craig Spence, Director of Communications from the IPC. Good evening, Craig. How's your day been today? It's been extremely busy. There's only been one topic of conversation today, and that's regarding Oscar Pistorius and last night's 200 metres. But we've got global headlines. 
And yeah, the Paralympic Games are looking like they've been the best yet. Yeah, I think they certainly have been. And uh, it's true to say that the Olympic Games just a warm up for the Paralympic Games here in London. Yeah, it's always nice to have a test event, which is called the Olympics. And here we are at the Paralympics where we get everything ready and we're going brilliant. And it's fantastic to see so many front page headlines about our Paralympians and the challenges now for the, for the media to sustain that once these games come to a close on the 9th of September. I can't quite believe how many world records there have been in the pool. That the, the racing has been absolutely superb. It's been so intense and so close. The, the intensity of it has been, well, the drama has been very special. And, and what, are the, what do the swimmers and the athletes and you know, all, all of the Paralympians think and what are, they, what, are they, what are their thoughts with regards to the facilities here in London? I think what they like is the fact that it's quite such a, it's a, a small park, so it's quite intense and you get to see everyone. And the, the, I think the atmosphere in the park is fantastic. I've described it earlier this week as being a theme park of sport. Because everywhere you go, there's a great attraction where you get a, a great experience. And I think the athletes are loving it just as much as the spectators and the TV viewers on Paralympic.org. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I think looking at the, the, the facial expressions of, of all the swimmers uh, from Great Britain, certainly when they come forward, there's an element of um, tension but relaxation there. They don't seem to be forcing the performances. Yeah, they, they, there's power but grace with it. And I just wonder whether at the Olympic Games, as far as swimming's concerned, they just tried too hard. It was, you know, but these are sort of enjoying the scary wow factor. It's more of a wow than scary. Uh, and you know all these competitors, competitors perhaps better than I do. So I think you've got to have that wow factor, haven't you, for sure? I think the games are a total wow factor. I mean, I, I, every morning I wake up, walk into the park, and you just go, wow, this is amazing. It's fantastic to be part of it. And I have to say two things before.